Welcome back guys. My name's Chris from Server Factory and today we'll be discussing the ins and outs of DPUs. But first, we have to answer the question, what actually is a DPU? A DPU is similar in core functionality to that of both the CPU and the GPU, but with a different purpose. Now, given that you're on this channel, I'm sure you know what both a CPU and a GPU is. But just in case, here's a brief overview. The central processing unit, CPU, is the primary processing circuitry in a computer system that's responsible for executing the basic arithmetic and logic instructions. It's commonly referred to as the brains of the system. The graphics processing unit, GPU on the other hand, was originally designed to process and display data as graphics. Although in recent years, it's used to accelerate calculations and assist the CPU with parallelism. Now onto the data processing unit, DPU. It was conceptualized in 2015 by the tech startup Fungible. It's defined as a programmable specialized electronic circuit that provides hardware acceleration of data processing for data-centric computing. What is data-centric computing, you may ask? It's a new computational model that differs from the current common compute-centric model. With the jump in demand for security, compliance, and AI, and with the ever-increasing volume of data, more and more CPU cycles are being consumed in order to deal with these strenuous data demands. This leaves less cycles available for the CPU to function efficiently, and thus the idea of offloading CPU workloads onto a new processing unit was born. This is where the data-centric model comes in, where the DPU and IPU is present and offloads data and networking workloads from the CPU, allowing the CPU to focus on application support tasks. Due to the DPU's specialized design consisting of processor cores and hardware accelerator blocks, it's a more general purpose and versatile chip than the GPU. In addition, some DPUs possess their own dedicated OS with the ability to perform functions such as encryption, erosion coding, compression, and decompression. When it comes to form factors, the DPU has a couple of distinct options. It can be integrated as a standalone embedded processor, but more often they're incorporated into a smart NIC, like this NVIDIA chip here. More and more manufacturers are now releasing DPU and DPU SKU products, and already cloud and hyperscale providers are showing great interest in incorporating these chips into their data centers. Manufacturers like Intel and NVIDIA are competing to find the most efficient solution for implementing DPUs or infrastructure processing units, in Intel's case, into the mainstream computing community. With NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang asserting that DPUs are going to represent one of the three major pillars of computing going forward, just how much do you agree with that statement? Will we see DPUs become a staple component in data center applications? Let us know in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, remember to support the channel by liking and subscribing and hit that notification bell to make sure you never miss an upload. See you in the next video.